Welcome back, Royal Priesthood family, to All Things Possible, prophetic brand with yours truly, Prophetess Sika Esther Grace. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that all is well with my family. I pray the blessings of the Lord be upon you this day that make it rich and add no sorrow. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord goes before you on this Friday, making every crooked place straight and every rough place smooth positioning you and placing you to meet the right people today and counseling out all wrong people to cross your path in the name of Jesus. I continue to lift my family up, royal priesthood before the Lord. I thank you, God, for what you're doing in their lives. I thank you that you have cleared all hearts and minds so they can um, come and check in with me and, and, and just, you know, open up their hearts and mind to continue to be a part of a, such a dynamic movement because we know that Jesus is the center of it all over here. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And I'm just praying, uh, I'm sensing in the spirit, just a special comfort to one of my royal priesthood family. I don't know who you are right now, which one of you all that's going through, but you need the spirit of comfort today like never before. So I just release it by faith and whatever you're facing and whatever you're going through, just know that this too shall pass and that there is nothing too hard for our God, nothing too hard. And so he's God enough to see you through that storm. He's God enough to see you through that trial and tribulation revelation and we just prophetically decree and declare that you will get the glory out of this that you will be lifted up even more and that 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 place of slumber glory be to God and that that place of stagnation that 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 spirit will be broken off you by the power that's in the name of Jesus glory be to God hallelujah thank you lord glory be to God amen I want to also highlight, because I know a lot of you all haven't had a chance yet, a lot of you all catch up on the weekend with the content, and I thank you for that. I want to wish those that have not had a chance to look at Tuesday's video but may sneak over here today, <laughs> that's okay, a happy belated Mother's Day. I pray that all was well with you all. I pray that you had a fantastic Mother's Day, and I just want to continue to highlight my mommy, and I know that she had a great one. I want to highlight those in the family, you all, that don't have their mom. And some of you all um, have inboxed me. This is your first year. Some of you all, you've been walking through this season for a minute. Just know that you're not alone. And so I, I encourage you just to hold on to the memories of what she's already, um, you all have already created. And I just pray God's comfort and strength over every bereavement family in the name of Jesus. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I give God all the glory, honor, and praise. I'm still just sensing his presence and sensing his spirit that he just want me to continue to bask in that and release that over the airways by faith, just releasing the presence of the Lord to be in those hard places in my royal priesthood family life, releasing the presence of the Lord to be upon you, even upon your countenance. The word of the Lord said that the glory of God covers our back. So that's like a shield from any arrow and any dots of the enemy. So I'm just releasing Psalms uh, 91 divine protection. And I hear Isaiah 54 and 17. See, the weapon may have formed. It may have formed, but it will not prevail. It will not prosper. And I decree and declare that you will get the glory and the victory out of this circumstance and situation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you are already here. We just welcome you and we embrace you. I decrease so that you may increase even in this time of checking in, God. Just have your way. Have your way. Spirit of the Lord. Glory be to God. Uh, that person or persons that's in need of comfort today, God is going to break that yoke off your mind and off your emotion. That God is, God is going to do a new thing, a new thing and renew your mind. Glory be to God and renew your emotions. And he's going to peel off that negative emotions and give you some healthy emotions. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, oh God. Have your way. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. 
Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. We know royal priesthood family when the presence of the Lord come on in and the Holy Spirit just want to do what he do and change the whole program. We just allow him because he knows better than we do what we need for ourselves. He knows better than what we do. So sometimes, you know, although you have a program and a schedule or what you want to say and what you want to do, when you when you uh, sense the presence of the Lord, whatever you do, don't grieve him. Whatever you do, don't ignore him. Just let him come in and tear up their program. Let him come in and tear up their schedule because that means he has a rhyme of blessing for you right then and there. Glory be to God. And we're just so grateful and we're just so um, honored that God think enough of us to come and see about us on today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. So we're going to just recap. You know, today is Friday. I come in person and live and just thank you all. I am so grateful for the support, you all. It would be no ministry. It would be no brand without the support. We thank God. And so um, I'm so grateful for my Royal Priesthood family. You all take a lot of time out your schedule. I know you are busy, but you tune into the content and you, you tune in with an open heart and an open mind. And I acknowledge that and I honor you. I honor you and thank you for um, supporting my vision and supporting the call and the anointing that's on my life. I'm very humble and forever grateful unto you for that. I don't take that lightly, you know, that somebody, you know, will believe in what God has called me to do for such a time as this. I, so I'm so appreciative. Also, I want to highlight two announcements. We want to make sure that we all remain on one accord. Again, I will not be here. Um, I'm going on vacation May 21st to June 7th. And also we are really moving forward with this prayer line. So it's going to be launched within the next two months. And so for those that you all haven't had a chance to catch up on the content, the Lord has summoned me to do a prayer line on Fridays for 30 minutes because so many of you all reach out to me. And like I said, I would love to be able to give you my telephone number, but that's just not possible. And so um, we're going to be able to connect that way. And I'm going to be able to leave an email where I will be able to get those prayer requests in a timely fashion. And so that we're going to come on. And I know that the announcement is first going to be on the Facebook page. So I'm asking you all to continue to follow and like the Facebook page, which is All Things Possible Prophetic Brand um, with yours truly, Prophet Seeker Esther Grace. The information is always in the description box, but I'm going to pin it on today's um, video in the comment as well for those those of you all who haven't had a chance to read the description box. Um, another thing is I have one more announcement. One more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. I have one more announcement. And this announcement is this. Is, um, some, some of you all are still wondering about Tuesdays through Friday. So right now, the Lord only has me to come in on Tuesdays and Friday. Tuesday will be the prophetic message. And as you see, Friday sometime too. Um, and Tuesday will be the prophetic message and an audio podcast field. And then on Fridays, I'm still going to be doing my check-in time with you all. I want you to be able to connect with me live and in person. I want you to be able to see my face and all that good stuff. And you all continue to comment, continue to inbox me. That encourages me so much. I'm so grateful for that. And then maybe later on this year, the Lord would allow me to go back to four days. But right now we're focusing on Tuesdays and Fridays. There are a lot of things behind the scene that are unfolding that I cannot say right now. And so my plate is full, but I want to stay true to this, this ministry and stay true to this brand and, 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 and stay true to what God is calling me on, you know, call me to do on this uh, platform, YouTube, as well as Facebook. And so, you know, I said this to one of my sisters in Zion, despise not small beginnings don't don't despise the small beginnings because God is moving and doing greater things in little little beginnings or what appear to be little he's doing some mighty things in that so just stay true to whatever God is calling you to do 
And so he's going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think according to the power. And we know that power within us is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Ghost power that's driving us, that's pushing us, that's compelling us to go forward in our destiny, that's compelling us to go forward in our call, and that's helping us to be true to, to the call. And, and some of us, a lot of you all are launching ministries. A lot of you all are getting back on your platforms. I said getting back on your posts and just letting God use you for his glory. And I'm so excited. I, uh, as I said in the last uh, Friday's live, we have a lot of ministers. We have a lot of well-established uh, ministries and churches that follow this brand. I'm so humble and so grateful for that. And so um, God is doing a lot of great things. I, I'm able to connect with them on Facebook and able to connect with some of them over the phone and God is really doing some good things in their life. And I'm just so excited for that and, you know, all of that stuff. So I'm not going to hold you long. I just wanted to love on my family and just thank you all for just being uh, so faithful and thank you for being so loyal. You know, it's nothing like uploading a message and then you don't have nobody to support it. So I just, I don't take that for granted. And as David, as God told David, don't count the numbers. Don't count the men that are with you. And so little becomes much when you put it in the master's hand. As I said before, there are some great things that are going on behind the scenes. Glory be to God for, for my faithfulness and for my obedience to this platform and for me pushing through some days when I, I, I didn't even think I was going to make it. Can I be transparent? But God gave me grace and a second win. And so I'm just so grateful for that. And so I, I told my sister in Zion, in the midst of opposition, in the midst of trials, in the midst of tribulation, I will remain faithful. I will remain faithful. And I say that to my royal priesthood family. You remain faithful and just hold true to the to the um, changing uh, uh, unchanging hand of God. Hold true to his hand because in the midst of that opposition, and in, in the midst of that trial and tribulation, just know that God is setting you up. It's, just, it's a setup. You know, a lot of times we put things on the devil and he is doing his job. But a lot of times that thing is God has allowed that trouble to come. He's allowed that opposition to come because he got something greater he trying to get you to. And so he allowed that to come and, and he know he going to bless you. He already know you're going to make it through. So just keep holding on to him and hold it on to the horns of the altar. Glory be to God. And you're going to look up and you're going to be out of that and you're going to be in a greater place. I said, you're going to look up and you're going to be out of that and you're going to be in a greater place in God. So we're going to give him all the glory now. We're going to keep on praising him. We're going to keep on loving on him. We're going to keep on prophesying the word of the Lord. We're going to keep on living this word out. We're going to go we're going to keep on being a witness for the kingdom of God, the witness for Jesus, and we're going to get our reward on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will check back in with you on Tuesday. Love you, but God loves you more. Amen.